Let's celebrate! And now... <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Depp. Thank you, Enchanted Kingdom. A magical day, everyone. I am Cynthia Mamon. I will be your host for the first episode of EK Spotlight. We chose Spotlight as it means a projected spot of light used to illuminate brilliantly a person or group of persons on stage. This is exactly what we in Enchanted Kingdom plans to achieve. As Enchanted Kingdom is a stage, right, Elder? We plan to feature various personalities, their life's trials and tribulations, as we also want to relate them to our rides in Enchanted Kingdom. And by so doing, be able to give hope, inspire people through their faith experiences. We are launching the first episode of EK Spotlight. This celebration aims to highlight empowerment of women their valuable role for a better society and overall national development. This is also anchored on the commitment of malasakit at pagbabago or true compassion and real change. For this first episode, we have invited one of the most sought after personalities in the Philippines, the award-winning Miss Cherry Pie Picache. Bye, thank you for accepting our invitation thank to visit you. us thank in you, Enchanted Cynthia. Kingdom. Thank you for having me and for inviting me. And to everyone who's watching, a magical day to everyone. Yun po, it's so nice to be back. I wonder, when was the last time you were here? Um, I mean, it's been quite some time. Mm -hmm. Since I was here, siguro po mga about eight, eight years ago. Okay. But I remember, or I would like to share to everyone, uh, you know, my son actually grew up in Enchanted Kingdom. Really? Yeah, because he would usually invite me, he would uh, invite me before, it's a storytelling ah, yes, program, yes, yes, yes. and we would bring yes. kids, mm -hmm. diba, from, uh, that's your way, that's Enchanted Kingdom's way of that. paying it forward. That's right. And, you know, to share, mm -hmm. to share to everyone, so mm -hmm. we would bring in children, that's right. so I would tell stories, and my son would always be with me. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, you know, there's nowhere to go in the Philippines, you know, to have fun. And, uh, you know, we have a world-class park at Enchanted Kingdom. Were they magical and memorable super, moments? Super, super magical Do you have moments. a favorite ride? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> What is it? Rio Grande. Really? Yes. You want to get Grande. wet and everything? Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Did you have to change clothes <laughs> after? Always, yeah. I would, you know, I would ride that ride Rio Grande like five times. Thus, I always look forward to that. Okay. So, I think that's my, me and my son's favorite. Well, aside from the roller coasters, uh -huh. so I prefer the younger. You program. really have to come back with me I again. I will, I will. I will with some yeah. friends and the family. I will come back. I mean, plus the pandemic, you know, it, yeah. uh, I, I'm sure um, it did, you know, parang it's sad for everyone. Yeah. But now that it's open again. Oh, yes, so yes. We just reopened yes. February 25. So uh, we're so happy. Yeah. We're so happy. And we're so happy that you're open again. So <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll visit again Enchanted Kingdom. Plus, with new rides. Right. Yeah, the twin yes. spin. With, yeah, you with haven't tried that. I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will but, miss so, it. Yeah. thinking out loud, what was the most challenging role that you had as an actress or artist? Um, I, I, I think I, I take every role uh, as a challenge for mm -hmm. me. Um, but to have one specific role, 
Uh, I think it was when I did the film Foster Child, oh. which was shown in Cannes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after after a long while, we had uh, a hiatus from 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 showing um, Filipino films in in the Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. The last one I think was with Lino Broca. Mm -hmm. But when we did Foster Child, with uh, directed by Brillante Mendoza, then oh, we were invited again, and that put us in the map. Uh, I mean, the Philippine cinema was put in the map again. So I think that was one of my more challenging roles. Really? But I'd, I'd always, I, I, I always take my, my roles, uh, I mean, all my roles seriously, whether it be in the cinema or television. But as an experienced actress, are there still other roles you still want to try or haven't tried at all? Um, Nothing really comes up of mind, Miss Cynthia, but uh, if there's one film that I'd like to do now, it's uh, a, a love story. Oh, <laughs> love I mean, story. No, because, no, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the roles that I, I do, it's either I play the mother or an aunt. Vida contra vida. Yeah, vida contra vida. <laughs> But it would be nice to, to, to play, you know, especially women my age yes. now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd like to think that he, 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 it's, you know, it's, it's not only limited yeah. to playing mother roles. You know, there are so many uh, possibilities, especially a woman of my age yeah. or maturity that are available, the roles that are available for us. Uh, so uh, we would like to explore, or I would like to explore that, that range. So most of the love stories that we also feature now is mm -hmm. mostly yung parang pang, pang teens yeah. or young love mm -hmm, story. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of people can learn mm -hmm. from, from a mature love story. That's and we haven't true. done that in a long time. That's very true. Yeah. I'm sure you know the valuable role of cinema. Of course, right? yes. And it uh, does make a lot of influence. And, uh, of course, through that vehicle, you're able to empower women. I yeah, mean, as we celebrate. Women, inspire. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What are the things that you would like to put across, I mean, to the viewers? You're right, it's not just the young age, mm -hmm. it's really the mature audience, but more specifically, that it's a. Uh, it's an expression of some things that you believe in. Yeah, I mean, uh, as an actress, mm -hmm. we're, we're sort of limited mm -hmm. to be able to express ourselves because we have to follow a script, we have to follow a role, yeah. and we have to play true to the role that we're portraying. Mm -hmm. But as an artist, um, also at this point in time, I would like to believe that I would like to be able to use my 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 status or yes, my work that's right. to inspire that's people right. to move people right. uh, to enlighten them yeah. um, uh, encourage them uh, yun. so so that's what i want to be able to do now one thing as we talk about miracles as we talk about marian devotion Apa. i am touched by something that you did Mm -hmm. And this was featured in Radical Love. Yes. Can you share with me? I mean, I really think that it's not you personally. It's like, I'm sure Galatians 2.20. <laughs> it's Jesus in yes. you. Who, Only by God's grace. Yeah, was able to forgive. Mm -hmm. Can you share with our viewers? How were you able to do such a um, magnanimous act? I mean... <laughs> Really? No, but only by God's grace. Yes, that's um, true. So Radical Love, for, for, for some who, who's not familiar with the story, it's a documentary film that I did before. It's, uh, it's basically about, it's the journey of my forgiveness towards our assailant because my, yeah. my, uh, my mother passed in, you know, um, through a tragic, yeah. tragic way. And so I, so Radical Love is about uh, my journey in forgiving our assailant. It's also my uh, contribution or my testimony because um, a lot of people might not also know that I'm an advocate of restorative justice. Okay. Uh, and I'm an advocate for the prisoners. Oh. I, I do a lot of prison work, okay. uh, prison voluntary work um, to help them, the least of our brothers. Yes. And so Radical Love, we, I purposely entitled it Radical Love because I think and I believe that that's how God loves us radically. You know, we may uh, forsake, abandon, and continue to, to, to uh, make mistakes, but His radical love will always cover us and will always 
give us the second chance to renew and to make our lives better. Wow, that's really As such. Yeah, yeah, that's really inspirational. Thank it's you, like thank you, ma'am. Pope forgiving the one who shot <laughs> him, right? Yeah, I mean, so uh, so basically, that's uh, that's um, that's what radical love is. But I always say, not by my own doing, yeah. but only by God's grace by God's and with His help. That's how much I we love him. Yeah. If we love him, we follow him. We his will, his will be done. So. Did it take years for you? Uh, to it heal? took me three years actually, yeah. Miss Cynthia. Because healing takes a long yeah, time. Yeah. It took me three years and up to a, up to the time wherein I was about to meet him. If if you get the chance, please please watch it. Yeah, up to yeah. the time that I was about to meet him, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do it. Did you pray hard? Oh, I mean, yeah. I was I was praying all I'm the way. I'm sure. Baka kulang na lang magluhod sa... Lumuhod ako. Lumuhod sa... Sobra po, sobra. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because it's not easy. Yeah. I, I think those are one of the moments in my life where I can say that God really took over. Yung talagang... Uh, very, very uh, evident that really God took over at that moment when I when when I finally saw Him again. It's, it's beyond so, human. Yeah, yeah, beyond human. Ano, uh, ability, ability or yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ganun po. But now yeah, well, I but think now, yes. God also answered your prayer for uh, love of your life. <laughs>